गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू टूडे लेट अस डिस्कस सम इंडियानिजम्स इंडियानिजम्स डजेंट मीन दैट देयर आर मिस्टेक्स कमिटेड बाय द नॉन नेटिव स्पीकर्स ऑफ इंग्लिश लाइक इंडियंस बट देयर आर सर्टेन सेट एक्सप्रेशंस यूज्ड बाय देम दे आर सो द नेटिव नॉन नेटिव स्पीकर्स लाइक इंडियंस आर सो हैबिटुएटेड टू यूज देम फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम दैट दे डोंट नो दैट दे आर मेकिंग मिस्टेक्स of course they are not grammatical mistakes they are mistakes when we compare them to the usages by the native speakers for let us uh, study the first one look and corner actually when we uh, said something we usually say i have searched every nook and corner to find my book actually the correct expression is i have searched in every nook and cranny to find my book so most of the native speakers even some teachers of english do not know that the expression nook and corner is wrong so they continue to use that expression so if you want to say, um, sound like a native speaker if you want to use english like a native speaker you has to use the correct expressions used by the native speakers uh, it may not it may be grammatically correct what is grammatically correct may not be acceptable all the time so it is not enough if you speak grammatically correct english you have to speak idiomatically correct english that means the expression must be acceptable and it must be used by the native speakers of course there are many varieties of english but if your aim is to speak standard english at least uh, spoken by the native speakers in the world you have to make amends for your english so whenever you know that something is wrong you have to correct it and you have to use the right usage the next one is Uh, usually on saturdays and on festive days you usually uh, have a total bath or oil bath according to the indian custom but actually we say that i had a total bath yesterday i had an oil bath yesterday but actually no native speaker say that it is an oil bath or a total bath they simply say that i washed my hair yesterday so that is the only thing that when you wash your hair usually you wash your body also so that is that is equivalent to a total bath or oil bath so if you want to be uh, an, uh, sound like a native speaker or whenever you speak to a native speaker you have to say i washed my hair yesterday instead of i had a total bath that definitely you will be bewildered you will be confused you will be, Uh, be misunderstood because of your word non native expression so you please say i wash my hair instead of i had a total bath or i bath third one is generally in india when we want to respect a person like a teacher professor some other unknown person you usually say david sir richard sir shastri sir this and that but actually in native english we don't find such expressions they simply called professor anandan dr anandan mr anandan or simply anandan of course in america and england the professors and the teachers are so informal and the so and they mix with the students uh, that they don't like to be called like so or uh, team this and that they just uh, that and that they allow the teachers students to call them as they like just even david is acceptable yes they don't get hurt but in the indian context if you call a professor david or something else he may feel hurt because of influence of our culture of course when you are speaking to a native speaker you shouldn't say david sir you say mr david or david that's an i spoke to many 
a famous linguist like Rod Mitchell. Yes, when I was saying, um, uh, dear Mr. Rod Mitchell, like that, please call me Rod Mitchell, that's enough. So uh, that's their custom. Calling by name is not a taboo, is not an insult for them. It may be an insult or disrespect in India, but it's not in America, England and some other native uh, English speaking countries. Uh, the another one is when you write a letter, we usually write respected sir or respected madam. But actually, sir and madam are themselves the respecting words. So, what is the need of using respected madam and uh, respected madam? When you are calling a woman madam, you are respecting her. When you are calling somebody sir, you are respecting. So, what is the need of another superfluous use of um, respected for sir and man. So it's not only Indianism, it's wrong also. So it may exist in grammar books, it may be used in our schools and colleges, but uh, once I wrote that, uh, I wrote my letter with sir, but the most of the school character is this respected sir, thinking that sir is not good enough, is not, I'm not giving enough respect to the person. So that is, these are the things that prevail in our country. Okay, these are the things that prevail in our country. Okay, next, the fourth one is, or rather fifth one is by heart. Actually, in English, there is an expression, learn by heart. Of course, we learn many things by heart. I learned the poem by heart. It's not good to learn everything by heart. But in India, we make by heart a verb and say, I by hearted the poem, uh, I want to by heart the poem. No, you shouldn't use by heart as a verb. It is by heart is a set expression, it is a phrase. It should not be, never, should never be used as a verb. So with this, I would like to conclude my lesson today. Let's meet tomorrow.